a cross section which we think that will go for. So what I've done is that's what we measured our negative line. Okay, so I've just got negative figures in front of all of these. Um, that's the data that we took from left to right by across the river. I've also included a Z-roll figure just so that the graph will go back up uh, to the water surface. All you need to do is select the data. You can have the um, velocity data as well if you wish. It's called the insert and select the column graph. If you click on a standard column graph, that's the end result. The blue bars show the negative set. Now we're going to change those by right clicking, click on change series chart type, and we're going to change that to an area graph. Once you've done that, you can see we've got the bed of the river accurately marked. The line through the centre represents the surface of the river, and the bars represent velocity, the velocity measurements that we took at various points across the water surface. Now what we can see is that generally where the river is deepest, the velocities tend to be highest. And also in certain parts of the river, um, it's 20 centimetres deep, the velocity tends to peak a little bit more when it's fl flowing uh, a little bit more freely from friction.